Good morning. Time for Friday prayer and coffee. The end of the week finally. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase. I believe this verse is saying that many will study the prophetic word of God with new revelation and knowledge of God's word shall increase in the last days. Revelation 22.10 And he said to me, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. I believe Jesus is restoring his church for the last days. Restoring the fivefold ministry, restoring spiritual gifts, restoring the mandate of evangelism. Acts 1.8 But you will, will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. If Jesus were speaking that to us right now, in this day, to, to our church, that verse would read, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Middletown, and in Trenton, and Franklin, and in Carlisle, and to the end of the earth. I believe we're going to see an acceleration in the church in God's purpose and in the harvest of souls. And we will have a greater revelation of the Word of God and of the Holy Spirit working in the church and through the church. We're going to see a dramatic change in the true church as signs and wonders once again uh, be become the mark of the church, the mark of the church that Jesus is building and renovating. Ephesians 5:27. Jesus is going to present the church to himself in splendor, without spot or wrinkle, or any such thing, that she might be holy and without blemish. Be ready for something to happen suddenly. In John 14, 12 through 14, most assuredly, Jesus is speaking, most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father, and whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Let's pray. Father, I come to you today in Jesus' name, and we come today to ask you for big things, impossible things. We ask that our churches be filled Jesus said no one could come to you, Father, unless you draw them. So we ask today in this generation, in this spiritual climate, in this present darkness, that you would begin to draw the lost to your Son, Jesus Christ. We ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would restore to the church the fullness of the Holy Spirit with all spiritual gifts and signs and wonders and restore the fullness of the fivefold ministry to your church. We ask to see healings, miraculous healings in Jesus' name. We ask that you would send miracles of provision that your church may accomplish our assignment in this generation. And we pray that the church, the kingdom of God, would once again be seen as the place where your presence can be found, where people can find answers to what they're looking for. Father, pour out your anointing until our cups are running over. <laughs> Help me, Lord to preach Jesus to this generation. Father, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of the one who is still working on his church, Jesus Christ, amen.